today for the first time we're bringing you a series of video reports on the very same day because it was just impossible for us to cut into the speech of great orator Oral Bax, the famous watch auctioneer of Philips, who will talk to us about his, uh, in his trademark passionate way about the main lots that will put on sale during the next important watch auction held in Geneva on the 12th and 13th of November. So in the following videos you will have one on the super highlight of the auction with an incredible trilogy of Patek Philippe 1518, the absolute grail watch for serious collectors, a video on some special Rolexes, one on some Omegas and one summarizing some other interesting lots including a very rare Panerai. But before getting there we asked Mr. Bax what was his view on the current shape of the vintage watch market compared to more contemporary watches that are today a bit tougher to resell. And remember that you can bid online if you're interested by any of these watches. Good luck! We clearly see an impact on the contemporary watches. Um, it's not the end of the world, but the vintage watch is in fact exactly responding to that need for meaningful luxury. First of all, you cannot repeat it anymore. No smartphone, no robot, no Silicon Valley can make you a vintage Panerai, a vintage Breguet, a vintage Patek Philippe or a vintage Rolex. It's gone finito. The people who made them, the tools that made them are no longer available. Second of all, the production numbers. A rare Rolex, Panerai, Patek Philippe was made in 10, 20, 30, 50 examples. Not in thousands and thousands more like today. In fact, I believe the vintage watch market may even benefit from this reorientation of our watch collectors, watch consumers. It's partly the story they want to tell. What story can you tell if you know that a robot, a high-tech, computer-aided machine has produced your main components? versus an elder watchmaker, master watchmaker in the Valle du Joux who worked half a year personally on his watch. There's the soul, there's the story. The patina, of course. When you buy a new watch, there is no patina. We want patina. That's why we love old buildings, old cars or furniture. There has to be some life to it. We have to thank the many blogs who inform clients day by day about what's inside the watch, what's behind the watch, and what's not visible on the surface of the watch or the marketing brochure. Um, we have to thank collectors clubs, because many collectors today are partnering with friends who share a common interest. And that accelerates transparency, knowledge, and brings to light the things that we all hope that the collectors know. It may also bring to light things that many hope the collectors will never know, but they do because they're hungry, they're intelligent, they do their homework. We see a new watch market emerging from the current one. It will be better, it will be more beautiful, and it will have contemporary and vintage in a whole new way combined because the one common denominator is quality, transparency, exclusivity, and meaningfulness. 